the Washington sketch has come to this Virginia hotel to expose an emerging threat to the American people. This enemy is bloodthirsty. It strikes without warning. It shows its victims no remorse. And above all, it is itchy. The bed bug was all but eradicated decades ago, but thanks to increased travel and resistance in pesticides, the bed bug is once again all the buzz. I hesitate to use the word it became a sexy issue, um, but it was kind of a cause celeb and it kind of got legs for a while. The EPA called its first ever National Bed Bug Summit to answer crucial questions. Among them, where is the bed bug today? like behind picture frames or other wall hangers, or inside the bindings of books on, on stuffed animals. Or How dangerous is the bed bug? When you've got bed bugs, your bed is not your comfort. It's going to disrupt how you live. What can man do to conquer the bed bug? We can kill the ones we can see. We could hit each one with a hammer, okay? For some participants in the summit, Bed bugs are their lives. I'm taking about 30 to 40 bed bug calls and emails per day now from all over the United States. And these are, you know, this is not sensationalism. This is the nature of the phone calls. I can't live with them. I'm ready to blow my brains out. Um, I would but we ignore the bed bug at our peril. Bed bugs typically aren't feeding on their hosts until their host is fast asleep. And this might be one of the biggest issues. You know, you check your bag and it's you know, squashed together in the hold of an airplane. That it is a case for secondary infections. If you break the skin, an infection can puncture, that can get through that skin, through that puncture. Fortunately, Americans can sleep tight knowing that, thanks to the National Bed Bug Summit, their government is doing everything it can to make sure the bed bugs don't bite.